When one starts out studying calculus, one of the first thing that gets taught is the limit. But why? Well, basically, everything else depends on it. The definition of the derivative and the integral, which are widely used in other fields, both depend on the concept of the limit. So, what is a limit? Intuitively, the limit can be thought of letting x get close to a, but we don't let x have the value of a since the limit may not necessarily be equal to the value of f at a. But there is a problem here. Because the words sufficiently close are somewhat vague, this definition is often called as the informal definition of the limit which is why mathematicians like Cauchy and Weistress came up with a more precise definition of the limit, one that mathematically defines what it means to be close. Take a look at the number line below. We can define the closest of numbers in terms of their distances. For any two numbers a and b, the distance between them can be written as the absolute value of a minus b. So, we can then say that any number a, that is say less than 1 unit away, 0.5 units away, 0.25 units away, or in general, some d units away from b, are close to b. With that in mind, we can now define the limit more precisely. First, we can define a region where the values of x are near a by a certain distance, say delta. Since you also have x not equal to a, then the distance between x and a should be greater than 0. Now, if we plug in the values of x in this region to our function f, we get a corresponding region where the values of f of x are close to some number l by a certain distance, say, epsilon. And so, making x approach a is equivalent to making delta smaller and smaller such that the yellow region gets smaller. When this happens, the blue region also gets smaller since its size depends on the allowed values in the yellow region. By continuing to decrease the size of the yellow region, we see that f approaches to a single number l. This is now the formal definition of the limit. And so, that's it! Most of the time, the informal definition suffices when understanding what the limit is. The formal definition just describes the limit in a more mathematical way by defining what it actually means to be close. But remember, they describe the same thing. The two just differ in how they describe the same concept.